is my third video of my yearly update and I'm gonna say again and again for the third time that I failed again for having self-improvement but here's the thing it's not a bad news like I always tell from the past two years of my first upload and the second upload yeah it's not I realize it's not a good thing to say to fail the self-improvement because self-improvement I realize that self-improvement is the thing that makes you grow there's never ending of it well I'm ending sa self-improvement there's no goal and self-improvement because self-improvement is when you set goals and you put self-improvement on them just to achieve a goal that's a self-improvement for me and I realize I'm not really a failure yeah it kind of makes me feel good but at the same time sad it's because I have a lot of plans that I want to be as for myself because I want to become the really best version of myself like hindi ko expect na mabuhulog ako sa mga bagay-bagay I'm working so hard to get out of it but life is tough but I'm more tougher <laughs> ayun na lang pang nagasla ko sa sarili ko but as I said that my self-improvement this not going to end there and may, may people see me falling down over and over again but people is not going to see me giving up that's my momentum and that's my spirit human spirit okay even though I'm why I have snip <laughs> it's upward this is a yearly update, so I'm gonna tell you what improvements on, on and what I learned to this day, to this year, 2024. It's currently July 11, 2024, and what I learned first on this and this year is how people work. Uh, I'm not going to talk about it, but the simplest thing that I've ever gonna say to it is people are simple, yet complicated. Yeah, it's a hard thing to explain, but people become so complicated because of how they think. But they are simple on their actions. People are not, I realize that people are natural, natural, complicated human beings human complicated creatures in their minds 80% of their suffering comes with their minds and I'm one of them but they make it things simplier um, by their actions that's make them simple and you know what is important is is their actions okay their actions and second thing that I learned is it doesn't matter if people are kind in their hearts a lot of a lot of people out there are pure kindness or somewhat mabait okay pero yung pala is it doesn't matter kung mabait yung tao yun. kasi may mga tao talaga na sa mga nila and yung behavior nila it's giving an egg but always watch out on how they treated you okay as an INFJ I learned cognitive functions and that's the third thing that I learned about my existence my zodiac signs everything that is that is that is explaining on who I am I really stick on it because I always thought about who am I what am I as an INFJ I'm INFJ and one of the things that makes me ponder and makes me anxious all the time is people. Okay. People. people. I'm very
very secretive person and I make things very secret and once I get the window or a window of a conversations sometimes I over talk about myself and once I realize I over I over talk about myself it panics me because it makes me feel like I'm a narcissist but it's okay we need to calm down and yeah the second is having patience in being being really 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 gentle when it comes to making mistakes like dealing with mistakes I mean once you yourself make mistakes or make things not in your way always make um, always give yourself a words of affirmations and at the same time you have a sense of accountability okay responsibility of what you've done don't blame people or even yourself but most importantly learn to think that that all the things and actions that you've been going through and you've been decided is your will that that's what you control and the fourth part i don't know if it i fifth part <laughs> the fifth part is learn to differentiate what you control and what you don't control that's my, what i learned from the book of the art of laziness and it's really really fascinating book and i already i already finished it talagang ang saya saya ang ang saya sa pahiram lang at sa, sobra akong natamaan kasi I procrastinate a lot during the time if I have this kind of sense because dahil mag isa lang ako and mostly ako lang ang nakakaintindi na most of the things that I do in my progress is nakakadalo siya okay it takes a lot of of mental strength para iharapin mo yung mga bagay-bagay na isa at napakagaling sana may nakamang pero I'm not naturally I'm not naturally strong when it comes to that because I'm, I'm still trapped on things like I was just a child disguised as an adult when I was a child and that's my trauma okay I was stuck in the year of I was forced to be mature until now. But now I am completely, slowly being free from that. Uh, my mind is maturing, and but being so aware and self-aware is makes me suffocate and over worried. Because overthinking is like something that is a curse and a blessing at the same time if you don't handle it very well but now like I handle it but the only thing that I have that I find is schizophrenic when I was a child until now but I don't want to self-diagnose because I'm broke I don't have any kinds of money to need to put myself into psychiatry, psychiatry or a therapy but soon enough I wish I have but today I'm just gonna say that yeah I'm kind of schizophrenic because I see things that is not true <sighs> but it's okay um okay alright I'm zoning out sorry the more I think that I see things that isn't true the more it interest I get control my malada I don't know if uh, daydreaming I don't want to I can't pronounce it really well because I felt like I'm a dyslexic person yeah and yep uh, daydreaming daydreaming makes me crazy for the past years okay that's a secret I lost my insanity I was become a freaking child like I don't know, I don't have a sense of reality in some way. And I felt bad 
especially with my mom dealing with those shit because you know it doesn't have any kind of knowledge on how to deal with it and I see him crying when I suddenly catch my you know consciousness on what's going on okay it's so hard to see people suffering even though they are the part of the things that makes you become like that but I realized that I'm really really a difficult child that makes myself I'm forcing myself to be an easy child for them yeah and the fact that it's so hard at the same time for myself but for me I'm naturally good at reading people but it makes me really really shy it makes me really really you know cry because I already know what you're talking on your in the back of your mind even if you're not aware of it <laughs> okay and that's it and that is the mo that is one of the things that I learned throughout the year it's it's past four months of wasting this 2024 but I did I want I didn't want to call it waste but I'm gonna recycle it as the learning material but I'm currently learning how to do portrait I wish I can show you the portrait that I did, but I already gave it to my brother. But I'm going to make process through out of it. I have an account on Facebook called Art Galeria and on TikTok is Art Galeria 2. And I'm I'm using that account from making affiliates. I'm an affiliator. Yeah. I love to flex stuff and stuff, even though I procrastinate it. But I'm going to make things work for now, and that's it. The only thing that I'm going to say is, in my mindset today, is first, for people, I don't give a single shit. Second, no one is going to save me. And I'm the only one who's gonna give what I want. Third is if you don't if I don't work on my dreams, someone will hire me to do their dreams for them. I don't want it. Okay? Even though I'm ho so highly empathetic person, I don't want to deal on people's shit. Okay? I don't want to deal on people's shit. Someone calling me a psych psychiatrist or a therapist because I'm so good at advising and listening to people. But you know what? I don't want to deal with people shit. That's what I want. I don't want to be a therapist. I just want to be a business woman, an entrepreneur, a freelancer, and an artist. I don't want to deal with people shit. That's all. And yeah. That's it for today, and that's good luck on my future self, and hello my old self, we're currently having a good time and having this kind of mentality, and I think we're ready, we're ready to concur what we need to concur, and it's kind of making an eye make back the things that you lost on your own. Especially when you you lost passion through art. And yeah, I give it back. Finally. Look. Look how good you are right now, self. It's not really good. It's not really, really fascinating. But look. you're getting there, okay, self? You're getting there. I, I studied... I studied watercolor pencils just like that. So don't you don't need to worry about being a failure, about being not good enough. If you are enough stuff, look, you did this. 
Okay? You did this song. It's not that good and perfect, but don't need to be perfect. Look, look. You made this out of crayons, okay? You made this out of crayons. Look, it's a bird. And I don't even know what this species is that. I don't know what species is this. You're, you're getting there, okay? And of course, a fish. <laughs> you draw a fish, a literal fish, okay? Don't ever think about yourself if you are not good enough, okay? Don't believe on people's bullshit. Don't believe on people that you are sucks. You're not perfect. You don't need to be perfect, okay? And yeah, that's it. I'm not, I don't have any things, but this is our currently, currently diary. This is our currently diary. It's because you're a really, really complicated person. Huh? Old self. You make it things complicated. So that's why I make it simple. And it's all, it's just, um, how many money did, did I spend with this? Only 97 pesos okay 97 pesos with this kind of quality you just need to think okay you just need to think and this pencil it's over it's six months on me yeah i don't know how fiber castle fiber castle is gonna have this kind of durability over six months or i just don't I just don't write often but I'm currently getting back on writing and making stories because that's what you want, my old self. Okay? I, I'm treating you. If we can't have princess treatment on somebody or someone, we will make you have a princess treatment because your name is literally Princess. Princess Grace, your entire name. I'm being so this older dramatic here. But now so you have a really stable schedule. Look how look how many your schedule are. I am going to torture you. Just kidding. But this is the words of affirmations book. And you're a bitch now. I can tell you that, old self. Old self, you are a bitch. Look at what you write on this. Look at what you write on this. But look like it says that I don't care who I lose anymore. I choose me and I got something to do. Yeah, that's how bitch you are right now. Be proud of yourself. You're a bitch. Okay, and what is this? Oh, it says that fear is temporary and regret is forever you heard that huh? huh what do you want what do you want in your life my old self the fear or a regret of being a failure and not doing what you love or a or a regret of or a regret of doing things that love doing things that that makes you who you are but makes you progress please okay this is for my old self okay i love you i love you i don't hate you you just hate me okay you just hate me okay i'm becoming crazy right now but yeah that's my message for my old self and for my future self Hello, I don't I don't know me, but I wish you had reactions on this video once you become really you. That's the ten percent of what we we're gonna be. Uh, don't disappoint me. Wag mo kong disappointed. <laughs> Wag mo kong disappoint. Ha? Huh? Nakakalimot ako ng tagalog minsan. Just because I'm not really good at being bilingual. Pero you will get there. And for the books that you read, you improve, okay? 
nag-move on na tayo sa literature, classics and literature. Okay, hindi na tayo nagbabasa ng mga erotic books. Nag-ano nag, na tayo, nag-move on na tayo sa mga erotic books and the authors that fantasizing graves and something and abuse. Okay, the last thing that you own have is Haunting Evelyn. Okay, the, the first and the last traumatizing book that you've ever owned in your whole entire life is that. But the rest I'm going to buy most uh, the things that makes you improve, okay? Future self, don't buy erotic books. Don't buy things that it makes you sick, okay? I know it's somewhat, it, it, it's some, it's your kid, okay? Violent is some, some things that it makes you, you know, but please, you're, you're, you're more than that, okay? And that's it for today, and I didn't want to make it long, but, yeah, see you future self, and this is my yearly update, July 11, 2024, and good luck future self for having a great time on your life. Please accept pain, pain, it builds character. Bye-bye, thank you.